Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Warbury Parker Raider Wide Sunglasses. So first, let's pop these sunglasses on and we're going to talk about the dimensions. They're going to have 58 millimeter lenses and a 14 millimeter bridge. And that's going to be the exact same dimensions as a standard pair of Ray-Ban aviators. In my opinion, I don't think these look nearly as good as a pair of Ray-Ban aviators. They're going to look okay on face, but let me actually uh, go over here and pop on a pair of original Ray-Ban. You guys can see for yourself which pair you look better. So these are going to be the Warbury Parker Raider Wide Sunglasses, and then here are the standard size of the uh, Ray-Ban aviators. So as you guys can see, instantly, I truly do believe these Ray-Ban aviators do look a lot better on face, and these Ray-Ban wayfarers are also going to be much more comfortable on the face. And we're going to kind of talk about that here in a second. So here on the Warbury Parker uh, Raider wide sunglasses the nose rests are going to be a little bit too small and because of that they're going to be much more uncomfortable in wearing them on face for long periods of time also these sunglasses are just going to fit the face much more snug they're not going to quite uh, slide on the same way that the original Ray-Ban wafers are and they're just not going to feel nearly as good the nose rests are going to kind of rattle uh, when putting them on, which makes them feel a little bit less premium. Uh, the frames themselves are also going to be uh, feel a little bit plasticky. They're going to have metal frames, so they're going to feel uh, quite plasticky. The hinges are not going to feel really good when opening up and when closing them. Not the worst hinges I felt, but definitely nothing too crazy. Something that I do like about these sunglasses, I really like the uh, acetate ear rest. They're going to look really good, and I think they look really good on face as well. It adds an extra little flair to these sunglasses rather than on the original Ray-Ban. Just going to have these clear uh, ear rests. These are going to add a little bit of extra flavor to these frames, and I do like them on the Warbury Parker pair. But the Ray Bans are definitely going to be a little bit more comfortable. Uh, they just seem to have got that down. These are going to be a little bit more uh, flat and not going to sit on the face quite as good as the Ray Bans. And these sunglasses are also going to be made in China, where the original Ray Ban wafers are going to be made in Italy, and they're just much better quality. These sunglasses are also going to have polymer plastic lenses versus the all glass lenses found on the original Ray. Ray-Ban aviator, so the optical quality on these isn't going to be nearly as good as the Ray-Bans, but because of that, they're going to be a little bit more lightweight, so they're not going to be quite as heavy as the Ray-Bans, so you'd probably think that these are going to be more comfortable because they are lighter weight than the original Ray-Bans. However, like I said, these nose rests and the ear rests, and they just fit on the face much more cramped than the original Ray-Ban Wayfarers, that just makes them much more uncomfortable than the original Wayfarers, even though they are lighter weight. So you really don't have the trade-off of having plastic lenses if they're still not going to be more comfortable than all glass lenses. Now as far as pricing goes, the pricing on these seems to be actually very high, $145 for these sunglasses. It's without prescription, but they do have polarized lenses, and a classic pair of Ray-Ban uh, aviators are actually only going to run you $153, but these Ray-Ban aviators are going to overall be much, much better product, and as far as prescription costs, these are actually going to cost you around $600 from Ray-Ban's website if you get progressive lenses, but progressive lenses on the Warbury Parkers are going to cost you around $400. $400. So there is going to be a big price difference when you have progressive lenses and you're comparing it that way. But overall, I definitely think these Ray-Bans are much better. I think they look better. They're better quality. They're made in Italy. There are just so many pros of these Ray-Bans uh, versus the Robert Parker sunglasses. I definitely cannot recommend these whatsoever. They're just really not worth it. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm interested to know what you guys think. Which pair do you guys prefer? Just leave me a comment. I'll be sure to read them all and of course reply. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.